Khan, and joining me today are Robbie and Chase from JoJo Season of the Bachelorette. Hey, hey guys. Hey. hey guys. We have a lot to talk about, but if you have any questions for these guys, leave them below and we'll get to them in a little bit. Well, last night was the premiere of a next season of The Bachelor. I'm so happy it's back. And the three of us were actually at the big Bachelor Nation premiere party in Hollywood, hosted yeah. by Sarah Heron and Ashley I. There we are. Guys, hey, how, hey. did you have fun? Oh, yeah. it, it was awesome. A little red eye going on, but we had fun. <laughs> <laughs> and you met a lot of fans, and there were uh, at least 20 yeah. Bachelor Nation. We, all, yeah. we also met more Bachelor yeah. Nation. There they are. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Good squad, crew of squad goals. Yep. All for good cause, too. I hadn't met Jade or Julia yet. Oh, so really? It was fun. That's great. And I hear you afterwards went to In N Out. How was that? In N Out has been better. You want to tell us. them about that? What? In N Out, when you go through a drive through and order four hamburgers and four animal fries, Yeah. and then you leave and you only get the fries. We got home what? and there were no burgers. It, it's a good way to Zero. ruin a night. But oh man, that is a bummer. Hey, the fries were good. The no, fries were good. Nothing against In N Out, Aww. but we did not get our burgers. You get a burger. So. I actually still need to get my In N Out. We might have burger. to go back. Next to time we'll all go. I yeah. love In N Out. Okay, so there were a lot of Bachelor Nation couples last night. We had Ben and Lauren, new couple Becca and Robert, and mm -hmm. also Carly and Evan. So, which of these couples do you think is definitely going to make it to the altar and get married? You know, I'll I'll be honest and say I was surprised and impressed by Evan and Carly. Really? I mean, just kind of their mannerisms together was, they, they definitely like each other and they're Aww. flirty and they're cute. And it was, it was fun to see that. I would agree. I think they're my favorite. I also think um, Ben and Lauren will make it to the altar. Yeah. And I think Robert, I hope Robert and Becca do. Well, Robert, they're new. They're awesome. We don't want to put pressure it's, on them. It's very early for them. So Ben and Lauren, you think they will be happily ever after? Yes. Their show is called? Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. You know, I get a being in Denver with Ben and Lauren, I spent a little bit of time with them. Oh. And yeah, they're, they're just a good couple. I was about through and through, and, and it's fun to watch them go through their struggles, but also succeed. Yeah, I was about to say, I think Ben's a stand-up guy. And yeah. with me moving to Denver in a week and a half, I'm excited to be Ooh, able to Ooh, that's spend exciting. New that's news, right? News. Wow, breaking. Cool. Week and a half, Denver. Yeah. I'm coming for you. He just loves Chase so much, he can't stay away. <laughs> hey. That romance right? is real. Right? See, bachelor love exists. <laughs> Even in uh, <laughs> Even the in same house, the same mansion. So <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, so, but but there are rumors circulating about Ben and Lauren. So you think that those are false, just what, what tabloid rumors? rumors? That they're not doing so well. You haven't heard uh, that. You know, I think any relationship has struggles. They're not going to be perfect every day, but True. I think they're they're battling through that struggle to make it work. I mm. also think that any bachelor family relationship has rumors. You know, because yes. even. During our season, there were rumors mm -hmm. going around while yeah. we were on the show, and they go around back home and get spread around. So, yeah. Well, JoJo and Jordan were not there last night. How are things with you guys and JoJo? Are you over her? You've totally moved on? Um, yeah, for me, I'm, it's it's more of a, if I see her, it's, it's a friendship thing. That's you know, great. If I hear from her, it's like we're just good friends, and I'm happy she and Jordan seem to be doing all right. Robbie? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It, same thing. Like, I, luckily for me, I got to go home after the show and um, you know sit down with my family, and they helped me get my feedback under my myself. But um, I, I, last time I saw them was at iHeartRadio in Vegas, and I, you know they looked happy, and I respect them both. So I hope that um, I hope it works out. What do you think about Jordan? What I mean, you got to know him pretty well in the house. You were the final two, final three. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I, I like Jordan. I think Jordan's a stand-up guy. It's sad that he hasn't kept a relationship with us like we have just because we got pretty close in the house and we all did spend so much time together so I miss I miss that part of Jordan but you don't talk anymore uh he's no he, he does a pretty good job of keeping his distance from us mm. it's uh, it's it's sad um Jordan and I were very close during the season mm -hmm. I think you can testify yeah. to that like I they slept I, together I, every night I slept with him for two <laughs> months separate oh, shit. Beds, uh the same bed a lot of the time <laughs> To be serious, <laughs> uh, you know, is really what it's called. We were in the same limo, <laughs> and then we were put in the same room in the mansion in uh, in Uruguay, Argentina. All the places we were roommates. Um, you know, he was with Alex, I was with Jordan, and we were like four pretty close. And Jordan and I kept in touch for uh, you know uh, the weeks after the show. Mm -hmm. We we would talk two or three times a week, and then um, unfortunately after the final episode, uh, I I never heard from him again. And I've reached out, but uh, you know I, I respect them both so if if that's what's going to make them work good for them so all right well now it's time to talk about the man of the hour the bachelor nick vile as you probably okay. know nick was the runner up on two seasons of the bachelorette first andy season then caitlin season and he was also on bachelor in paradise this past summer so 
We're all hoping that fourth time's the charm for him on The Bachelor. Now, guys, what do you know about Nick? Are you friends with him? What's he like? Um, you know, I've, I've met Nick once. Okay. I've had some conversation with Nick. I think Nick is very experienced in this ban Bachelor franchise. He knows what it takes to create good TV. <laughs> That's very politically uh, said. <laughs> and Did the acting the, classes help? You know, the acting classes may have helped. <laughs> I think the puppet fits the puppeteer's hand. Nick, <laughs> Nick uh, has taken some acting classes? Or? <laughs> so That's I've heard. Rumor, but okay. Yeah. Um, I met him once, and it was after the uh, the filming of the final rose. Okay. So I was in LA. Uh, I went out to dinner with him afterwards, and um, we didn't talk much, which is unfortunate. But um, I think he kind of kept himself. He honest, honestly, he kind of made me feel like I was a rookie in in mm -hmm. in the midst of things. You know, like you've been on one season, like I don't need to talk to so you. Like, he, I'm a veteran. He like, seemed like he was above it. Kind yeah. of. He yeah. Likes, he likes to take that power position. Like he knows everything. Ooh. Well, how do you think he'll be as a bachelor? For me, like, I know that it works, right? Like, yeah. I fell in love with JoJo. Like, I believe that he can find love, and I want him to. You know, he's, mm -hmm. he's 35. It's, it's time to find that, and I hope he does. Um, I would rather see this guy as a bachelor, <laughs> to be honest. That's sweet. You would have been a great one, and I know that a lot of ladies was, were hoping it would be yeah. one of you. Are you... Are you disappointed about that? Do you wish well, you had had that opportunity? You know, it, was, it was one of those, I went through the negotiations, I signed a contract, I actually agreed to be the bachelor with oh, the I franchise had no idea. too. Um, and then they called me the Monday before they announced it that next Tuesday and told me it wasn't me, but they didn't tell me who it was. So I naturally assumed it was Luke. I think Luke assumed wow. it was me. Well, so I then, heard that Luke signed something and he got the call. That's what was, you know, in the news. I didn't yeah, realize I've, that I've you as well. I've been a little well. more quiet about it. Yeah. You know, I, was, I wasn't outspoken, but I, I, you know, I took time, talked about it with my family and my friends. And if I was totally off for the position, I was going to do the best I could possibly do for it. Mm. Um, I wanted to I wanted to do it, but you would have been great. Not getting the position, you know. I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad, you know, that I can actually just do it in a more organic lifestyle way to yeah. find the girl I want to be with. So, we were we were talking about this morning, and we'll, I'll just go ahead and share this. Oh, <laughs> kind of off off topic. But, okay. Um, we kind of felt like you you watched our season. Yes. A lot of people in a lot of the memes or memes, however you say that, <laughs> gif giffy, like I don't know how it goes. <laughs> memes. Either way. <laughs> Um, we're like, all of JoJo's guys look alike, right? Like, it's all kind of cut. You got the coiffed hair. Cut from the same the, the mold, same right? Over, you know? <laughs> so, um, I was talking to Chase. I was like, you know what? There's like, there's 30 girls on his season. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's kind of a mosh podge, like a melting pot yeah. of people, right? It's, there's no like definite type. Yes. And I think that was because, and you might know better than I do, was because they weren't sure who was going to be the bachelor until the last second. So they were they were grabbing his type, they were grabbing Luke's type, yeah. and then all of a sudden it's Nick. I think not. Isn't thirty the most there's been? Like we had twenty six, so. and no, I think twenty six was the most the at the point. So and as far as I know, I think there was a little bit of a scramble for casting at the end there. Ooh. You know, I think a lot of the girls came in expecting either Luke or myself, and then when they found out it was Nick. I, I'm pretty sure a handful of them dropped out. I heard girls dropped. Have mm -hmm. you been contacted by any girls who went on the show for you? Um, there's been a few you've DMs. Had to. You know, you've had to. Well, I was going to say, but, you've had to. But, um, you know, nothing nothing that's stuck or I haven't pursued any of that, no. Well, okay, so you were a former runner-up. Do you think that because Nick has had more years apart from being the runner-up, he's had more time to prepare for this moment as Bachelor? Would you have been ready if you were The Bachelor because you had so recently um, had your heart broken? Like I just mentioned, like I believe in the journey. Like it worked for me. I yeah. fell in love. I was ready to propose. I was ready to take that next step in the marriage. So yes, I would have been ready for it. Um, like Chase said, it would have been something that I had to talk to my family about because yeah. it's not just me going through it. They go through it. Um, and... Yeah, being runner-up, it just helped me realize that I was ready for that. Yeah, so. that's great. All right, let's talk about the 30 women. You've spoken that there is a lot of diversity in personality um, and type. So out of the ladies, Chase, if you had to set Robbie up with Ooh, one of them, go. who would you set him up with? You know, I, I need to do a little bit more investigating on all the girls. <laughs> 
a few that stuck out from last night's episode. Mm -hmm. I might hook Robbie up with, uh, I don't know, Corinne? Corinne. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Florida girl. Florida girl. Florida girl. She's a firecracker, according to Nick. Is she? Yeah. All well, right. she will get to this. Somebody's got to she... tame this guy. She's pretty. Oh, she kissed him She's first. She's very pretty. She's aggressive. She do you like women who are forward? I do. And... I, I like a girl that can take control. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, who would you set Chase up with? Oh, look at that. <laughs> there she is, going Night for the one. kiss. She, 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 she pulled him, Jordan right? Rogers. Uh, yeah, she yeah. kissed him, and he, it made him a little uncomfortable, but you know what? She went for it. Go for it. Okay, so, Robbie, who would you set Chase up with? Oh, um, shoot. Uh, not the, the shark dolphin. Not Alexis? Um, not Alexis. Um, probably... I'd probably, you want to hear this? I'd probably set him up with Whitney. Okay. Just to, Whitney. Just to hear what Nick's response to that would be. Oh. <laughs> Which one's Whitney? Yeah. Is she the one that Whitney's... came back? Is she the one? Do you mean Brunette. Elizabeth, Jade's maid of honor? Yes. Elizabeth. We, were, we, Jade, we were both looking at each other like, Whitney. Whitney. Yeah, Is that her? That's, that's her. Elizabeth. Yes. Elizabeth. Just, okay. to, just to oh, see the response, to see how that works. Up. <laughs> Stir the pot a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, I get that. She's really pretty. She is. She is pretty. She, uh, got, she, she, she did got catch my the final last rose night. last night at the end. Okay, Dramatic. so Elizabeth was Jade's maid of honor, and Nick had a one-night stand with her. And so she came on yep. the show having that history with him. What do you guys think about that? Would you have given her a rose, or would you have said, you know what, this is part of my past, I'm moving this, on? Um, we talked about uh, this know, this morning, too. Yeah, it's, it's definitely kind of a been there, done that situation. Mm -hmm. If it didn't work out the first time, I don't know. I mean, maybe some new conversation is going to start up in front of the camera. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. I, mean, I, I related it to the fact that, you know, that rumors came out that Jordan and JoJo had talked before the season, you mm -hmm. know? Had so they? Kinda, Do you know if they had? I, not for sure, but I mean. He denied it? He was announced, unlike all of the other people, you mm -hmm. know? It's like Jordan's yeah. on The Bachelor. Um, and so I kind of related it to that. Like, they have a past. I think that Jordan and JoJo had a past before the show. And did you feel like that was unfair? Putting myself in kind of the, the shoes of all the other girls in the house, knowing if they, I don't know if they know it yet or not, but when they find that out, mm -hmm. I could see that causing some turmoil for sure. Some drama. Good word. Drama. All right, so there were a lot of entrances, crazy entrances. Did any stand out to you? Whoever got the camel. The that's camel. Lacey. Lacey. Yes. 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 And there she you go. said that she had heard Nick likes a good hump. hump. See, I would have gone Ooh. with let's go hump back at my place. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I thought she kind of put Luke's unicorn to shame with oh, the camel. Yes, right? yes, she really did. Just kind of What's going to be next year, an yeah. elephant? I mean, it, we just have to like keep right. going up. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. It's so, really not. <laughs> I mean, what do you think about these outrageous entrances? I mean, do you think that, you know, it makes you memorable or is it a little I, too much? The entrances make you memorable for the audience. Yes. I think... I don't know if there's really that much of an impression on the, the main guy. I think we both kind of kept it pretty simple. Yeah, talk about season. your entrances. How did you plan them? Mine was actually... Mine oh, was, there's there's Robbie. There's me. Mine was a bottle of wine. You know, uh, my family are big wine drinkers, and I had watched a little bit of the season before, and so I knew that JoJo's mom. her mom likes to drink <laughs> straight from the bottle. Yeah. Um, so I just tried to hit home, and mm. for me, like, the number one focus, the number one priority is my family. And so I figured if it was with her, too, and it was meant to be, she would appreciate it. It's a shared and connection. And so I went with that. What about you, Chase? Mine, so, you know, they, <laughs> they kind of give you a few. They give Look you, at that. They give you some time goofball. to plan out your, your entrance in the hotel prior to the night. And I was struggling. And then I was actually unpacking my bags. And I found those glasses in that mustache. You just brought them along they, well, just in it, case? It was in my suitcase from a wedding I went to a couple months prior. Oh, that's perfect. And I, like, I didn't bring it unintentionally, but I had it. That's great. And I showed the producers, and they're like, that's perfect. And I was like, all right. Let's Are do you? It. Do you wish you had done it differently if you could go back and do it again? Or yeah, you like your was, entrance? I was really nervous that night. Oh, I'm sure. That was probably the most nervous I've ever been. For sure. Like that the first rose ceremony was the most nerve-wracking rose ceremony of all of them. Yeah. Well, except Easy. for the final one. Well, what about stepping out of that limo the first time, you know? All the cameras are on yeah. you, the lights, there's JoJo. So, here's a funny story, actually. They give you pretty specific directions to walk up, turn and talk to JoJo this way, and then walk around the fountain to the left. <laughs> and I was, so, I was so nervous that I went up, talked to JoJo, and then I walked around the camera, the fountain to the right, 
and I kicked over like a light and tripped <laughs> over some wires. And some wires. That's amazing. So, Did you have to do it again, or you, no? I mean, you just they just set up. It's it's one time go, and oh wow, they they kind of cut it out. You know, they didn't yeah. air that portion, but <laughs> nope, JoJo and I knew what happened. So yeah, and the that's fun and another funny part is like everybody that's already in the house is peeking through the windows mm -hmm. to see Spying. what we're doing, what what our entrance who's is. Who's coming up? Yeah, who's coming out with what? <laughs> who's coming in? Well, this season we had Alexis, as you mentioned, with the shark costume. Yep. She thought she was a dolphin. She's an aspiring dolphin trainer. Is this like what do you think of this? It's not a dolphin. I, I'm a I'm a swimmer. Sorry, girl, I'm a swimmer, so yes. it hits home. Like I like it. You I, like I can it? respect that. But yes. She was confused about what animal okay. it was. Well, so similar to we had Nick on our season that had the Santa Claus yeah. costume. And I know, you know, that's a long night. That's a really, that's really hot long night. In that and he costume. wanted he took the costume off, but he was forced to put it back on for the rose ceremony. <laughs> So I can imagine that probably happened for her too. Um, so what do we not see that very first night? What what do we miss? It's a long night, goes until the next oh morning. Gosh, yeah. What do you wish viewers knew about what really goes down? I know there's a lot of there's a lot of mayhem getting everybody together for that first group picture. Really? I mean that's that's one that doesn't Everyone get aired wants or to be showed, near but, it, but that takes yeah. that takes a good forty five to an hour. Wow. And I remember standing there and the sun's rising. And, and, oh, you and, do it after the rose ceremony? No. Oh. You do it right before the rose right ceremony. Before, okay. Yeah. So, you know, they, they collect everybody who's been drinking for the last seven hours. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Trying to get them all to seven. smile. Yeah. Yeah. It starts at like 3 p.m. the day before. Yeah. So, and then it goes until the next like morning. Like 9 a.m. the next morning. So getting everybody there and then getting everybody organized for the first rose ceremony is, is kind of why it takes so long. That makes sense. And then also going through what Nick had 30 girls. So, yeah. I, I mean, you watch the exit interviews and they're leaving with the sun rising. So. What about you? I, I think for me, like, there's, there's a lot of, I want to say awkward, but there was also a lot of great conversations uh, with the guys that you meet because you only, I, I think I spent a minute and a half, maybe two minutes mm -hmm. with Joe that first night because everyone's scrambling for time to get yeah. in there and talk to her. Um, and so when you're not with her, you're sitting and drinking with the guys that you just met that are there to date the girl that you're trying to date. So it's did you guys there's hit a it lot off the of first awkward. Night? I don't think we talked the first no, night. No, I think we hit it off because we were when we moved into the mansion after we made it through the first yeah. rose ceremony, we were put in the same room. Okay. We, yeah, we were talking. Wasn't that like the, yep. the, the other. garden or something? I, Ooh. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, let's tell everyone else. Wells told me about the garden. Let's talk about this. Let's talk <laughs> Seriously, because yes. they cut everything from that out. It seems a little exclusive. Uh, Can we, do we have time to talk about this? Can we talk about this? Let's quickly tell okay. everyone what the garden is. So we, we respected our room. It was me, Chase. Alex and Jordan. And, well, and James was in it. And James, James And he made it for a while. But like, um, so the other two rooms had 10 people each. Okay. And then we had the six. And... Um, we just kept getting roses, and so I it went started, up. It started, you know, we wanted to come up with a, like a name, a team to the room. name, kind of, kind of just the. Uh huh. So we, we went, we went up to James there, Taylor because James Taylor's he's the singer songwriter. Yeah. He's real quick Creative. on top of his head. Creative. And I was like, we need a name for a room. What should it be? And the first thing he said was the garden because you keep getting roses. Because like, you keep bringing you guys flowers. just keep Don't you coming think that's home. a little mean to the guys <laughs> that didn't get roses? And you named oh. each other flower names. That would uh, that might come be, on, guys. Maybe that's why Derek got butt hurt. <laughs> What were, what were your names? What were your flower names? So, you know, being that I have a large passion for lions, I was Dandelion. <laughs> or a large tattoo of a lion. <laughs> that helps, Dandelion. too. Yes. He was Dandelion. Um, mm -hmm. I was Sunflower, because I was always very tan and mm -hmm. always very always out and active tan. in the water. But Do you guys still call each other these names? I'm sorry. It's kind of fitted with the garden. He saved in my phone as Dandelion. <laughs> <laughs> And I bought wow. and I bought him a gift that uh, uh, a Moscow me? Mule Cup that has dandelion on it. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. And Jordan's name is Jordan was Tulip, I think, because he mm -hmm. was Tulips because he was cute. he was a pretty boy. Pretty boy. Um, and <laughs> Alex was Wildflower because he was just said whatever was on his mind. Yeah, he was outspoken. Uh, okay, now we'll get back to other roses. Um, you know, the rose on the show. So last night, the first impression rose was given to Rachel, who's mm -hmm. the attorney. What are your thoughts on that? Was that a surprise? Did you see that coming? Um, that was a surprise. I mean, I didn't really get to see her in Nick's conversation. Yeah. But, you know, just for Nick to give her the first impression rose is, is raises an eyebrow a little bit. Yeah, I, I thought that there was a parallel between Rachel, who's an attorney, and Andy, 
who, as we remember, was an attorney. Oh. And Andy gave Nick the first impression rose there's, on her season, so. There's a parallel there, but there's also a contradiction. Like, I feel mm. like I was caught off guard. And I'm, I'm glad she got it. That's yeah. awesome. I thought she was awesome on the first episode. I'm excited to see her moving forward. Um, but Nick's type is, you know, sh a short, petite brunette. Yep. Dorfman, Caitlin, yep. and Jen. They're all yeah, it's different. that type. It's different for him. So well, maybe it, he's it branching out. Guard. Maybe he's learning that his type hasn't always worked for him. It, and it hasn't. So. But what do you think about the first impression rose? I know Jordan ended up winning, but that's not always the case. So it doesn't right. necessarily mean you're going to go it's, all the way. It's a pretty staple rose, though. Yeah. It really is. I mean, because it's... Everyone remembers it. First impression is your lasting impression. So, true. you know, Rachel's probably going to stick around for at least a long time on that's the show. True. She's getting a first impressions rose. Okay, so we already talked about Elizabeth, who was Jade's maid of honor, and she ended up staying. Were there any surprises in any other girls that stayed? Or I was more surprised with a couple of the girls that left. Ooh, like um, who? Don't put me on the spot with names. Okay. But because there's a lot of them, but a bunch of I thought how many went three home or last four night? really cute girls went home. That uh, eight, I think eight, uh, it was eight. Eight went seven. home last night. Oh, it was eight. No, it was eight. I yeah, it was eight. Eight, um, eight went uh, home last night, and that's a lot. I mean, but it's hard to get it a good conversation in with Nick, and then yeah. you know he has to make some pretty heavy decisions that first night. Yeah. So. I guess, where do you draw the line? But there were definitely some cute girls that went home last night. Well, uh, hey, Chase, you could, uh, <laughs> you could hit up these ladies. Any you'd give a, would you give a call to any of them, maybe? Or maybe they'll slide, 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 slide in the DM, you know what I'm saying? All right. It goes down where? <laughs> in the DM. In the DM. All right, so time to talk front runners. I'm going to just put this out there. I'm not usually right. My track record has been off. I've watched The Bachelor for maybe seven years, and I'm just not usually accurate. But here are my predictions, because I'm putting it into the universe. Top left, Taylor, I think she could go all the way. I think that she is Nick's type. She's beautiful brunette. She's she spunky. She came out of the limo spunky. right away and called him out, which he likes. He likes that in girls. Mm -hmm. And she was downplayed in the first episode. And I feel like when you're not featured a lot at the mm -hmm. beginning, it's, it's, you know, you come out later, I right? Know, I've noticed that. I know from experience. Were you, <laughs> both of you? say you're preaching to yeah. the choir. I mean, obviously Jordan had to be because he had the first right. impression rose. They couldn't. I don't, I don't think that's why. I think it's because he was, you know, Aaron Rodgers' little brother. Well, of course, but if, if the they wanted to hide the fact that he was going to end up with JoJo, they might have made it seem less yeah. obvious. Yeah. But so what do you think? Do you think there's any chance for this Taylor girl to... I do. I mean, I definitely think that's a good analysis to, to take a look at who's who's the quiet, the dark horse. You know, yes. I got labeled as that, too. And it's fun to watch people rave about the ones who are getting a lot of screen time early on. And it's the quiet ones who are going to make the impression later on. Yeah. Well, OK, so here's my uh, third place. Uh, second place, I think, is going to be Vanessa, top right. She's bilingual, special needs teacher, and she immediately had chemistry with Nick, and he said on camera, she's a keeper, mm -hmm. which I feel like is a sign that they have something, you right. know? Mm -hmm. So maybe her. And then third place, I'm going with Danielle L. She's uh, from L.A., so they she's both live in the same city. Smile. She's beautiful, mm -hmm. and she seems really sweet, and they definitely have mm -hmm. uh, some chemistry. And then... You know what? My wild card kind of is Sarah, who's bubbly and cute. She's really cute. And I think that either Danielle or Sarah in the bottom, they could be the next Bachelorette. Okay. Because I, I think, like that. right? Yeah. Like a lot of guys would go for them, and they have good, good energy. Sign me up. Yeah. For either, right. either, of either of them. Really? Yeah. Would so you go I on think again? Those girls are All four, you kind of identified exactly what we think is Nick's type. Yeah. No, the, I. The petite I, yeah. brunette. I think he has the type. See, I would throw um, Raven in there. Raven, ooh. I liked, I liked her. I liked the country girl who it seemed like she would probably was going on the show for mm -hmm. like a Luke, right? Maybe. Maybe. Probably. I liked her. I thought, she, like you said, spunky, bubbly. Like I liked her. So. Okay. Dark features. I think she mm -hmm. might make it. All right. Well, we'll have to see. Far, so. Um, but you said that you would go on the show if either Danielle or Sarah were the bachelorette. I'm holding you to that. <laughs> you're going to pull a Nick. And Is it you're your just, decision? Yeah, I'm, I'm choosing. So. There you go. But That's no, fine. Theory, you want to cast me? Cast me. Yeah, I'll talk to ABC. It's would fine. you do it, it again? It worked for me the first time. I would 100% do, do it again. You do it again? Wow. The people I met, the places I got to see, what I learned about myself and the woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with mm -hmm. all came from those that time on the my journey mm -hmm. on the show. So it was... 100% I would do it again. Really? Would you, Chase? Uh, you know, I'd take a, it'd take a lot for me to, to really want to do it again. Mm -hmm. 
I think considering being The Bachelor, then to fall back into a contestant on The Bachelorette would be, I don't know, it'd be hard. Yeah. And I'd really, really have to like the girl that's The Bachelorette. And but get to know her what if you don't know until you're already out in California like we did? <laughs> like last time. Hey, you never know. We'll see what it happens. It seems like you're not closing the door. There's a right. possibility. There's the right conversation can change anything. It, mm. it, if it worked once, I believe it can work again. So right. I would be on board. Good. Well, uh, now we're going to play a little game. All right. So it's, it's, it's no secret. It's no secret that you two and Bachelor Nick like to pose for pictures. So uh, <laughs> we did a little investigative research oh, good. with your Instagrams. Oh, here we go. So I'm going to ask you a question, and the answer is either Chase, Robbie, or Nick, OK? And we're answering? You're, you're answering, <laughs> all right? Which of you has taken the most selfies? And I mean the traditional selfie. Nick. See, this is difficult, because I don't, I don't follow Nick. <laughs> all right, well, you're just going to guess um, based on I'm what gonna, you know. I'm going to trust Chase, Nick. It is Nick with a staggering 81 selfies. Wow. His Instagram profile That's even aggressive. says, I judge myself for the selfies. So at least he's self aware. Uh, do you want to know how many? Uh, Chase has 10 and Robbie has six. Wow. Gotcha. Yeah. So I try and keep the selfie game low. Yeah. I do too. I've, well, I've, you try to keep the it's technical also, selfie game low, but a lot of solo pics. It's also not so my well, like, good side. So it's like, a selfie is a picture of yourself by yourself. Yes, with yourself, absolutely. Right? So well, someone taking a picture of you. Which leads us to. Oh, here we go. Which of you has taken the most shirtless pic? <laughs> That's Robbie. I, I actually think it's Chase. And Nick is still a contender, just so we all know. You still think it's. Oh, wait, wait, Nick's still around? Yeah, yeah so oh. it's either Nick, Robbie, or Chase. I thought I, Nick was I golf last you. season. I think it's Robbie. I think it's Chase. It's actually Robbie with yes. 39. I'm two for two. 39, 39? pictures, including. On the far left, his profile picture. Wow, he must work out. Robbie. Ah, I was a swimmer. I'm used to being in like a speedo. I will also nothing, say so. that I've noticed that often uh, after you're on the show, that's when they start popping up. The ladies, you just want your fans to uh, see you. <laughs> hey, give them what they want, right? I'm just saying. Okay, and then uh, finally, which of you has like taken? These. Which of you has taken the most Bachelor Nation squad picks? And we're starting last May, 2015 because it wouldn't be fair. Nick has been on for a few more years right, than right. you. So, Nick, the squad. Nick, for sure. Yeah, Nick. 100%. That's actually not true. Robbie, you it's serious? you. Yeah, you have uh, 33 Nick? squad picks. Chase has okay. 17, and Nick has Now that 16. I think about it, I can kind of see that. Yeah, it's often just that's... you and Chase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so just two makes a squad. Oh, that, well, that's like, a... Squad, like, Squad goals. Yeah, like <laughs> your, your bromance is going there on there. Go. Um, and then just as a bonus round, what hashtag do you use the most? So let's start with Chase. What do we think he uses Probably the most? Probably Ma McNary Monday. McNary Monday! <laughs> is that it? He invented this. That's awesome. I did. Yes. It was, well, it was invented by some fans. Oh, and, sorry. And I, I thought it was you. It wasn't my invention, but I definitely carried it into every Monday. I kind of like to post the good, positive vibrations oh, post. That's great. Do you have one like that, Robbie? Uh, I, I don't. No. I, this, a fan did come up with a clever one. It was Rob Bay, but it was like B-A-E. Well, speaking Bay. of, I actually saw uh, Leah Block post a picture of you, and it said Rob Bay. <laughs> yes. So is there anything going on there? Are you guys uh, more than just friends? No, we're just friends. She's she's a she's a great girl. I enjoyed getting to know her when I came out to Denver to visit my brother, and now she's up in New York, so she's with oh, Olivia. Oh, she moved to New York? Yes. Okay. So she's with, there's a bunch of girls up there. Olivia, Olivia Kayla, Izzy, Cousin. yeah. Okay. Great girls. We had a blast. I was actually with them a couple weeks ago yeah. before Christmas. That's fun. Um, Robbie, what's your most used hashtag or frequently used? I'm going to say The Bachelorette. Uh, well, it was, but then lately you've been doing a lot of bros being basic. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is Robbie's new you wanna thing. You want to hear, can, can I tell Please. a story real quick? Bros Sorry. being basic is kind of why I'm on the show. Oh. So my brothers and I uh, posted like an outrageous Christmas picture, 2015, and um, Bros Being Basic actually reposted it, so it kind of went viral. Oh. And the Bachelorette Instagram account commented on it and said, nice. And so my little sister took it upon herself to nominate me for the Bachelorette, and wow. that's how I got on. That's from, a good story. Pretty much from Bros Being Basic account. So this is all full circle. There it is. There I it comes. I like it. Okay, and then. Credits do, for sure. What do we think Nick's most used hashtag? 
Uh, I I haven't read his comp captions. <laughs> I, like I said, no. I don't follow him. All right, but, it's The Bachelor because uh, he bachelor. is The Bachelor. Got it. You know, it's pretty fitting. You probably what did you start that back in 2012? <laughs> <laughs> oh, throwing shade there, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's 35, maybe oh. like 2008. Right. All right, boys. So <laughs> the winner of this game, the winner is with two out of three answers about them, Robbie. So as your prize, Robbie, ready for it? It's a signed photo of Mario Lopez. Oh, Extra's Mario. very own. He's the king of the I selfie, so it's him appropriate. But I was, I was three for three on the question. Well, Shh, just stop. <laughs> I'll see if I can get you one, too. <laughs> can I just meet Mario instead? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. He's not here today, but uh, we will make that happen in the future. Okay, so now that our game is over, it's time to talk about you guys. Like, What have you been up to since being on The Bachelorette? What are you working on now? Talk to me. Um, you know, for me, I've definitely been able to take a little bit of a sabbatical from medical device sales. I mean, mm. that job is still there kind of as a safety net if I need to fall back to that. But I've been having a lot of fun traveling, you know, doing some appearances. Started a, a clothing company with a business partner of mine called Lucid Boulevard. Oh, cool. Um, you know, having some fun there, learning. It's a learning experience, kind of taking that entrepreneurial route and just taking, taking what I can. Opportunities coming every day, so. That's awesome. What about you, Robbie? Uh, entrepreneur route is ex the exact same thing. You know, I um, um, there's a lot of things you get asked to do while you're on the show, while it's airing, that you yeah. can't do because of your contract obligations. And so, since the show has ended, there's a lot of appearances, events, photo shoots, uh, interviews, Q and A's, a lot of things you're asked to do that you line up and you do them. And that's what we've been doing. We've been traveling a lot. Um, I also have a finance firm that I started with one of my best friends and actually my little brother in my fraternity. Um, last February that that's I haven't awesome. really able been able to capitalize on because we've been so busy. Yeah. But that's part of my my New Year's resolutions. That's why I'm moving to Denver to sit down to anchor myself and kind of. It's not for Chase. I thought you were moving for Chase. That's the underlying reason. <laughs> <laughs> to kind of capitalize on all these opportunities you've been given. So. That's great. Um, I'm excited. We have yeah. a lot of, and even us, we have stuff in the works that you got some, some we will announce in 2017. Oh man. 2017. Be ready for it. February 2017. Guys, give we'll, us we'll something. Come on, give us something that we're, you were... We're working on a little bit more of an online presence. We have um, an online presence. Some episodes in the works. Don't we? Some episodes in the works. Are you doing you a know? web series? You, I called it. I in? knew it. Yes, I, I knew it. Wait, is it going to be a, a scripted web series or... Here, well, let's stop here. What would you like to see? Hmm. I would like to see... Okay, not too scripted. I think you guys are funny off the oh, cuff. There will so be no I scripting. think maybe you can have a situation and then go from there, you know? Okay. Like a reality show on a web series. Like, like date night with Chase and Robbie? Oh, I'd love to see that. As and long we'll, as it's real, we'll as long drop. as they're not actresses, they're real girls. Right. Hidden Double date. And yes, <laughs> yes, I would love that. And we'll release the videos on Mondays about. There's your teaser. There's your teaser. There's your teaser. Get I ready will, for it. Okay. I can't wait. Um, we have some questions coming in, okay. and what a coincidence. A lot of them are my friends. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, my sister Brooke Khan says, uh, would you pull a nick on the next Bachelorette? But we answered that. Thank you, Brooke. Miss you. Um, let's see. Ooh, this is a great question. Rachel Geffen, thank you so much. Guys, if you went on Bachelor in Paradise for the summer, who would you most want to meet? Like, what lady from the Bachelor world would you Bachelor hope would be there? Bachelor in Paradise. Um, Come on, give me your honest. Like, <laughs> it's easy for me. I would say Jen Saviano. Ooh, oh, you just want Nick's. Uh, no, that's not necessarily. I've spent time with her. She's from Florida. Um, I was gonna say, like, yeah. has nothing happened there? No, I mean, no. We okay. we've we did. Well, she came to one of my events down in Fort Lauderdale, um, and I went to one of hers down in Fort Lauderdale. And we had fun together. It was fun. Mm. Chase. Uh, you know, I would say I like the emotional st stability in a female, and I think I see that. <laughs> And Amanda Stanton, so. But Wait, she's been she there. was there last night. Did you guys talk? Uh, we talked for because a little bit. Because she's recently single. Right. Okay. So, I mean, nothing intense. Really but recently. <laughs> really recently. So maybe you know, give her some time to heal. Yeah. That's really hard. Let her do her. And she, but, you know, she's a mom. She's taking care of her kids and stuff. Yeah. But I was just she was awesome. I can see that. I was just answer, answer the she's question. mature. Was the first she's night you met her? Uh, no. It's the first time I met her. I thought she was awesome. Yeah. She's beautiful. Seems really sweet. Mm -hmm. Genuine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Emotional stability, good to know. Right. Okay, so uh, final question, let's see. Um, do you think that a former contestant will show up in a later episode to vie for Nick's heart, like Nick did in Caitlyn's season? No, they've, already, they've done that. They've played that card again. Yeah, you don't you think know, they'll do it I, again? No, I, I think they, 
They used the one night stand girl to fill that void. Okay. Like and they did on our season with um, Jake Pavel. Pav oh, that was pa yeah, that was Pavelka, Pavelka, pa Pavelka. Yeah. former bachelor, and it seemed like he was there for JoJo, yes. but as a friend. There's there's always right. one of those cards. You're right. Okay, well, that was a great question, and thank you guys so much for asking them. Yeah. Um, guys, I think this is uh, our chance to like say goodbye. If there's anything that you haven't said yet, like this is your this is your time. I'm excited to see how the, the season pans out for uh, Mr. Nick. Hopefully it's the last one of him, but <laughs> no, I mean. I think this is probably his last season <laughs> on a Bachelor show. Could you show. imagine? Well, he's got to end up engaged, right? So. Well, do you think so? Actually, let's put this out there really quick. Do you think he's actually going to get engaged or do you think he'll pull a Juan Pablo and just say, will you be my girlfriend? No, I, I think he'll get engaged. Okay. I, mean, I agree. I think he'll get engaged. That's I hope what he's so. doing it for, right? So. Yeah. Robbie, you agree? I, I agree, yes. It, it's it's his time. It's been his time. Hmm. Let's make it happen, Nick. Come on. Yeah. Yes, go He's Nick. Not, We're not saying today. anything he hasn't heard. I mean, everybody <laughs> yeah. knows this yeah. is his fourth time. Yeah. Yeah. But so maybe this will out. work. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Yeah. yeah. And thank you for Thanks, watching. Thanks everybody for watching. Seriously, you guys are awesome. Yeah. 2017. Love you guys. And uh, we're gonna we're be gonna here. We're gonna give back. We are going to give back, and we in Extra will be here live every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come back, join us. We'll have other guests from Bachelor Nation and nope, beyond. She's bringing us back every Tuesday. Especially I mean, if, if you want here. them back, like, all right, I'm not, I'm not good enough for you. You need Mario. Just take this home. Mario can just sit between us. <laughs> right. Thank you guys so much. Bye.